Welcome everybody to another RLR unboxing. Today has been a fantastic day for unboxing. We got our order from Miniature Market and just a little bit ago the doorbell rang and uh, I was pleasantly surprised to open it up and see our first board game bento box. Uh, I just got the email notification on shipping this morning. Uh, apparently it shipped out on Friday but the email just came through today and so I was not expecting it to show up this evening. So that is amazing. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Board Game Bento, it is a subscription-based service similar to like Loot Crate or something like that in which uh, we get a box of board games every month. They've also, they started with um, a subscription service called Comic Bento that sent out comic books every month. So uh, this is actually only the second month that uh, board game bento has existed october was their first month and their first subscription so um i checked it out and it looked interesting so i decided to uh subscribe it's about 50 to 60 dollars or so uh, including the shipping so there'll be a link in the description down below that you can check it out and if you're into board gaming um, pick up a subscription for yourself so let's get right into it so here's our board game bento box box of board games every month decent size so um, I am excited because I have no idea what's going to be in here so let's take a look it is right across the top there we go all right it's like Christmas morning screw trying to open it up and keep it all nice and everything just tear right into it I've never opened presents on Christmas morning with a knife though the way my mom wraps presents or what she did when I was a kid she still does actually I probably should have a pocket knife with me for open up Did any of you guys like that any of your guys' moms like that she does layers and layers and layers tape on the box and you can't get it in you, you can't get you, you can't get your fingers and you can't get it open it's ridiculous so maybe we'll need to keep this knife around on christmas morning all right so Let's see what we got right off of the bat. A little board game bento stress cube. Doesn't squeak, but just one of those, like, you know, stress relieving you know, balls. It's a little cube, like in the shape of a dice board game bento. Pretty cool. Haha! -ha! Is uh, this just the expansion, or what do we got? Ah! Oh! Very nice. Okay, so this is uh, an expansion for Boss Monster Tools of the Hero Kind. Expansion for Boss Monster. If you guys have never played it, very cool card game. Um, you can pick it up as board game, uh, well, board card game, or you can actually pick it up on Steam as well. Um, I've got, I've actually got both versions, and now I have got, look at this, Boss Monster 2, the next level. Check that out. That's awesome. This is a standalone expansion, um, and then another little expansion for it, Tools of the Hero Kind. So I've got Boss Monster. Uh, we tried playing it before we really kind of understood it, so we had a little, we struggled with it a little bit, but I played it more on Steam, um, and I really like it. It's a fun little card game, and so now we've got Boss Monster 2, the next level, and an expansion. That is awesome. That is awesome. What do we got here? This, oh, right, so every month has a theme. Uh, this month's theme is Beneath the City. Welcome to the Fungin. We've got fun and games. Ha, <laughs> get it? Welcome to the jungle. Yeah, it, it, okay. So, Boss Monster 2, the next level. So, I'm not going to read through this because it's a really, uh, it's a lot of words. But that's okay. So, we've got that. This, so, uh, these are some little um, meeples. Um, I've seen these before. These are what they're called adventurer meeples. Uh, to use instead of, oh, to use in your Boss Monster game. Okay, okay. Can you guys see those? They've got, they're, they're wooden meeples, but they've got designs on them. So, um, instead of using a finger or imagination to track the progress of adventurers through your rooms, use the cleric, fighter, rogue, and wizard meeples to invade your dungeon. Okay, so as the little heroes come into your dungeon, you can use the little adventure meeples. That's really cool. These are actually come, um, these were provided by meeplesource.com. I've seen these before, meeplesource.com. You can check them out. They've got a lot of these character designed meeples for a lot of different games. So instead of just your generic wooden meeple, um, They've got uh, little paintings on some stuff. Very cool. That's that's really neat. I've seen those in a lot of places. So we also have what is this um, deck building? I wonder what kind of uh, game this is. 
deck building, the deck building game. It is literally, it looks like you build a deck. Get your lumber and your tools. It's time to build the deck that you've always wanted. You and your neighbor are both competing to make the best deck possible given the materials at hand, and only one of you oh, can wait, win. An actual deck. Yeah, yeah, so you build an actual deck. It's called deck building, the deck building game. Deck building, the deck building game, it is ages 13 plus, two players, 15 minute. It looks like a little micro game. I really like games like that. So that looks to be a lot of fun. Um, this is from Dice Hate Me Games. You play a homeowner building a deck by building a deck, a stack of cards. So building a deck, a raised patio, by building a deck. So I'll be honest, 90% of why I picked up this game was the layered pun of a title, but it ended up being my favorite purchase from Gen Con 2015. So this is written by Costello from Board Game Bento. Um, and then, so for those of you who don't know, Boss Monster. In Boss Monster, you become the villain. It's got uh, 8-bit artwork uh, on it, so it's kind of a throwback to old video games. You take your dungeon to the next level with Boss Monster 2. Become one of 12 all-new bosses, build deadly trap and monster rooms, cast versatile epic spells, and face new challenges like hybrid heroes and dark heroes. Very cool. So in Boss Monster, you actually play the boss, the, the monster. And you've got a deck of cards, and you build a dungeon that the heroes are going to come and try to make their way through the dungeon, and your goal is to kill, kill, to, your goal is to kill the heroes. So deck building, we've got that. And then last but not least... In the City Origins. This is a Duncan Davis game. Looks like another card game. The King Has Died. Oh, this is a, developed by uh, Duncan Davis and produced by Sherwood Games. The King Has Died. To save the city from usurpers, you must use guile, stealth, and cunning to outwit your enemies. Shifting alliances, unreliable partners, and devious opponents all complicate your path to the throne. Manipulate aristocrats, generals, and ignoble citizenry as you seize the crown and save your city. Comes with 20 leader cards, 105 creatures, and 5 influence trackers. For 2 to 5 players ages 9 and up, 45 to 60 minutes. Excellent. That ought to be great to play with uh, Little Rant and Miss Rant. So, let's see here in the city. While evil machinations machinate beneath the city, we've also included two games to play out. The unsuspecting cities above. So... Inner City Origins by Sherwood Games is a card drafting game set in a leaderless medieval city. You can rise to power, engage in often underhanded negotiations that raise the question, are the monsters right to hate us? So, excellent, excellent. Um, so yeah, developed or designed by Duncan Davis, published by Sherwood Games. Um, Boss Monster is published by Brotherwise Games. Uh, let's see here. I uh, do not see developer information, but yeah. So, published by Brother Wise Games, excellent. And then deck building is by Dice Hate Me Games. Overall, I think this is a fantastic start for Board Game Bento, our very first Board Game Bento box. Uh, definitely check it out. The link is in the description below. I'm looking forward to playing a lot of these and will stream and um, uh, record and publish to YouTube as well. Uh, but... Definitely off to a great start, in my opinion. I'm looking forward to playing these. I really like, you know, I know Boss Monster, so deck building and in the city origins. Those are going to be fun to play and learn as well. Um, but uh, check it out and, uh, you know, pick up some new, add some new board games to your collection every month for about, like I said, 50 to 60 bucks. So not a bad deal overall. Uh, and uh, see what you think. But if you've played any of the games, uh, or you know, anything you're interested in in particular, leave a comment in the description below, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you next month for another unboxing of Board Game Bento.